Today's rant is going to be on feminists who feel that feminism is necessary in the first world and that they should be spending their precious time and money campaigning and protesting for issues that aren't actually relevant, particularly compared to those that women in the third world countries are suffering on a day-to-day -day basis. So, without further ado, let me get into what I want to get off my chest. First of all, the gender pay gap. It is an absolute load of rubbish. Now, I can tell a lot of you are going to be wanting to rage out at me in the comments, but just hold up for just a couple minutes while I explain my point. The gender pay gap is rubbish because the research that proves it is not accurate. It's not how you do a survey. Rather than looking at people who work the same job with the same hours, the same talents and the same job responsibilities, in some cases, they look at people with different jobs. They just take a split percentage of the male demographic of a certain country, the female demographic of a certain country, and try and pit them against each other. Of course, they're gonna be paid different things, they're doing different jobs. And then let's take it if they're doing the same job. Then they're working different hours. Men may be working more hours of overtime, and that's why they're getting paid more. I mean, it's absolute load of rubbish. I could go on about this, but just to put it simply, the simplest way I can put it is use your common sense. If women were being paid less than men for doing the same jobs, why isn't every company in the world employing women to do the same jobs as men? Because they save money. They don't because it isn't real. If there is a pay gap, it's gonna be minuscule enough for it not to even be an issue. So stop stressing about the gender pay gap and start stressing about the real issues facing women in third world countries that need your help, that need feminists protesting for them and for their rights because they're the ones that need it, not for equal pay when you already bloody have it. What's the point in protesting for something you already have when there are people out there who clearly don't have things? Look at the... the, the Look at some of the jobs that women in third world countries can't do. Just that sentence alone shows that they are more oppressed than women in the first world. There are certain jobs they can't do. Yes, there are some jobs that women can't do in the first world, but there are also some jobs that men can't do in the first world. So you need to be helping the people who need your help, whereas there is a large range of jobs that women can't do when they're not allowed to leave the house, when they are severely restricted on their everyday life based on what they can do just because they're gender. That is what you need to be protesting about. I understand why feminists campaign for issues promoting men's rights for equality, because after all, the definition of the name feminism means the advocacy of women's rights in order to achieve equality in the genders. So nowhere in there does it say, you know, promoting men's rights because they feel that men are automatically more advantaged over women, but there are many cases in which men's rights aren't being protested about as much as they can. And I don't have a problem with feminists not protesting for these rights. After all, I wouldn't expect them to. The whole definition of feminism doesn't include that. But what I then don't want them doing is then protesting at these male rights protests. Like, come on, don't use your time and money protesting against male rights and then be surprised when people think you hate men. I know feminists don't hate men, but you've got some jackasses out there putting her heart in someone to try and prove otherwise. Put your time and effort into something worthwhile, into doing what you're supposed to be doing, campaigning for women's rights for women who actually need them. And there are cases of women who have been raped and seek the support of other feminists and not got it. They just haven't got it because the feminists don't want anything to do with them. They don't want to support them. If you think I'm over dramatizing, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to a video of someone explaining it in more detail. And also, you've had feminists campaigning about video games, uh, objectifying women, and I can sort of see where they're coming from, but what even started a crowdfunder to start a game and a series exploring video games and how they objectify women? It got $170,000 raised. $170,000 this thing raised to go towards a video series exploring about how video games objectify women. No, that money should be going to females in third world countries that really need the money, who need the help and need the time for you to protest for their rights because they need it. Not you stupid white middle class white women thinking you're underprivileged and there's some sort of patriotic men, patriarchy of men that's out to get you. That is a load of utter rubbish and your problems are nothing compared to the issues that some of these women are facing. So please use your time and energy to go out and protest for these women to get the rights not deserved and not just being miserable over something that is nothing in comparison to the sort of stuff they're going through, particularly if you're calling yourself a devout feminist. If you are a devout feminist, be a devout feminist, not a devout feminist. Nazi who is completely delusional and are just bringing hate upon feminists that isn't justified because you're just giving feminists a bad name.
Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and check out my previous videos. Also hit me up on social media too, just search Harry J Peak.